Welcome to my channel lecture series on power electronics. In this video we will see in simple steps how to draw a three phase waveform which is very much necessary in getting the output voltage waveforms of various three phase converters. So the steps involved are just six. The first step is draw a scale x axis scale with time as the base and uh, this y axis can be either voltage or current in this lecture i have taken uh, voltage as a parameter in the second step you will be marking points which are equidistant from each other and mark it as 60 120 180 240 300 360 420 480 540 like this which is in degrees and this is very much required when you draw a waveform so the next step is you can draw one first waveform starting from 0 going to a peak at 90 degrees reaching 0 at 180 degrees going to negative peak at 270 degrees and reaching 360 degrees again a zero value. So this waveform which we have drawn is a single sine waveform which we refer to a R phase waveform. When you draw a three phase waveform, we have to draw three different waves and we know that in a three phase supply, three waveforms are displaced from each other by 120 degrees. So the next step is to draw the Y phase waveform where you start a waveform starting at 120 degrees. R waveform has started at 0 degrees. Now Y waveform is starting at 120 degrees displaced by 120 degrees from the R phase and it has to go through a positive cycle reaching the peak and then going to 0 at 300 going to a negative peak and then going back to 480 degrees that is we see that from the 0 points you have a difference of 180 degrees so the second waveform has started at 120 degrees reached a peak positive peak and then it has reached 300 at uh, 0 at 300 and reached a negative peak reached 0 at again 480 degrees then we go for the next step where we start a third waveform and this waveform which is a b phase waveform starts at 240 degrees that is 120 degrees from the y waveform so it starts at 240 degrees again it goes to a peak reaches 0 after 180 degrees 240 plus 180 is 420 and then again at another 180 degrees it, at 600 it reaches the 0 so now we have a three phase waveform and this is how you draw a three phase waveform and when you extend in the next step all the waveforms backwards y waveform is extended backwards from 120 degrees to the, the negative peak and this y, b phase has uh, been extended beyond this 300 it has gone uh, r phase has gone from 360 to 540 Again, this B phase is taken back from 240 to a negative peak and it has gone to the positive side. So, now we have a three phase waveform. So, this is how you draw a three phase waveform. When we go in for a, uh, the next step, we see that all these waveforms are present here and we normally know that one cycle means it is 360 degrees. So, you can see the one cycle marked R phase waveform 0 to 360. It is marked as one cycle when we go in for a half wave converter or a full wave converter we will be drawing the output waveform for one cycle only so let us see what a half wave converter is here in a half wave three phase half wave converter we have three thyristors each connected to one phase you see that three thyristors one thyristor connected to r phase one thyristor t2 connected to y phase one thyristor t3 connected to the B phase and if you want to draw the output waveform when you want to draw the output waveform of this three phase half wave converter you have to just trace the envelope of the three phase waveform which we have seen in step 7. So we have seen this output waveform in step 7 and the output of a three phase converter would be like this we just trace the black line shows the output waveform of the three phase converter we have three pulses present as shown in the black we are just tracing the output of uh, output of the converter as the uh, envelope of the three phase waveforms this 
is the output of a three phase half wave converter in my in one over one cycle only we have drawn it a three phase half wave converter is also known as a three pulse converter because we see three pulses in the output in my next lecture we will see how the output voltage waveform of a three phase full wave converter can be achieved for which a three phase waveform has to be drawn uh, in a slightly different way and the envelope of the three phase waveform when traced will get a six place uh, six pulse converter thank you